A very good morning, students. In today's class, I'll be talking about the next colligative property, which is osmotic pressure. Now, as the word says, osmotic pressure is the pressure which is applied to stop osmosis, just to stop osmosis. So, first of all, we we'll come back to the osmosis part. I've already got a lecture just before done before this, which was on osmosis. You can have a look at it in case you are struggling with the topic and you are unable to understand certain things in this class. Now, I have a YouTube in which there are two solutions on both the sides. This is the A chamber. This is the B chamber. A chamber consists of pure water, while the B chamber has salt water, and there is a semi-permeable membrane between the two. Semi-permeable means it allows only the flow of water. Now. Over a period of time, it is observed that your water starts to flow from one chamber to another, and it is observed that the water moves onto this side, on its own, which means the level here would start rising. Now you need this process to be stopped. This movement of water from the pure water towards the salt water is called as osmosis, and it happens on its own. Now the pressure that you require to stop this osmosis to happen. is called as osmotic pressure which is also represented as pi looks like pi this is the symbol that we use now otherwise this pressure that you are going to apply the side on which you are going to apply the osmotic pressure is this limb because here the movement of water is happening and to stop this you need to put a pressure here so the pressure that you apply on this side is called as the osmotic pressure which would stop the movement of water to come from a to b now what is observed is if your salt water is more concentration if you increase the concentration on this side means you add more amount of salt to it then it is found then you require more amount of pressure to stop the flow of water which clearly means the flow of water is faster if the concentration difference is large between the two solutions separated by the semi permeable membrane hence osmotic pressure is dependent on the concentration difference between the two solution or on the concentration of the solution which we are referring to as compared to pure water now supposing i take another illustration this is pure water and this is the salt water on both the sides the pressure is that of the atmospheric pressure as of now because the osmosis has not started off now we very well know when the osmosis begins the water will pass through the semi permeable membrane from the lower concentration to the higher concentration that's osmosis so the water moves towards right when the this moves towards right you need to stop it so you apply a pressure which is called as the osmotic pressure osmotic pressure is the minimum amount of pressure that you apply on the side of the solution to stop the flow of water through the semi permeable membrane so this is the definition for osmotic pressure the minimum amount of pressure required to be applied onto the higher concentrated side or the solution side to just stop the inflow of water into it via the semi permeable membrane now what happens if you apply more pressure to it supposing i apply another extra pressure on this side now if i do that the situation would be that instead of water flowing just to stop i am now pushing water to move in the reverse direction so my p pressure has led to reverse osmosis so if the applied pressure that you are doing onto the solution side is greater than osmotic pressure then this would lead to reverse osmosis fine so when the pressure applied on the solution side is more than the osmotic pressure the water molecules moves from the salt water to the pure water and we can in this way obtain pure water from the salt water this process is used in desalination of sea water what do i mean removal of salt from sea water actually you are removing water from the sea water but we name it as desalination of sea water to get you pure water is possible only by reverse osmosis which is only possible by applying extra pressure above the osmotic pressure on the side of the 
salt solution through the semi permeable membrane now coming to the mathematical part of the osmotic pressure it is found that your osmotic pressure is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution if that is true it is also directly proportional to the temperature assuming that increase in temperature causes an increase in kinetic energy if there is more kinetic energy there would be more mobility hence more movement of water molecules so finally we come to a conclusion that osmotic pressure is directly proportional to concentration and temperature in this case the concentration is taken as molarity the reason being osmotic pressure or osmosis is done at room temperature and your molarity does not change if the temperature does not change so you can easily use molarity here hence for osmotic pressure we use molarity as the concentration term while for the other colligative properties we have used molality because there there was a change in temperature when we were talking about elevation in boiling point or we were talking about depression in the freezing point so your osmotic pressure is directly proportional to concentration and temperature so pi is equal to c into t and pi is equal to crt where r is the universal gas constant i'll open up the concentration term which is nothing but molarity so it is moles of the solute divided by the volume of the solution should be taken in liters r and t out of this expression your n2 is nothing but weight of the solute divided by molecular mass of the solute the temperature always is to be taken in kelvin scale do not forget the volume is to be taken in liters coming to the last thing which is required is r now for r you can have two values 0.083 liter bar kelvin inverse mole inverse means your osmotic pressure would be measured measured in bar while it can also be used as 0.0821 liters atmospheres kelvin inverse mole inverse this is in case you want to measure your osmotic pressure in atmospheres so depending on what do you want your pressure value to be in so we can use the r accordingly fine so the final expression i can rewrite it for you osmotic pressure can be written as w2 by m2 that is the weight of the solute divided by the molecular mass of the solute r the universal gas constant can be any of these two values t the temperature always to be taken in kelvin scale and v the volume to be taken in liters is the formula that you would be using for all numericals related to osmotic pressure now we would be doing a numerical on it and then we would come to advantages of osmotic pressure as a colligative property coming to the numerical first let us talk about the numerical now the numerical says 200 ml 200 ml means the volume is not given in liters so you have to convert it you have a 200 ml of a solution of a protein proteins are polymers so their masses would be very large because they are a huge unit of monomers joined together containing 2 grams of protein that's your weight of the solute has osmotic pressure of 2.5 10 to the power minus 3 bar since this is bar that is an indication that r should be used 0.083 liters bar kelvin inverse mole inverse because that is the requirement you have to find the molecular mass of the protein so our first step is always to write down the formula to be used the formula used is pi is equal to w2 upon m2 volume of solution to be taken in liters r into t now let's substitute all the values that we know find the molar mass of the protein you have to find this the osmotic pressure is given to you 2.5 10 to the power minus 3 bar temperature is given to you in degree c so please add 273 to it to make it 300 it has to be always to be taken in kelvin scale r value is to be taken as this weight of the solute is 2 g as given in the question volume of the solution in liters you will have to take 200 divided by 1000 this you can solve on your own and when you get your answer for m2 please do not forget 
you are asked for the molar mass since it is molar mass please report it as grams per mole you cannot report it as u because it is not the molecular mass which is asked it is molar mass so the answer has to be grams per mole so this is how you are going to do your numerical on osmotic pressure now before i end the class i need to wind it up the advantages of osmotic pressure as a colligative property r number 1 its value is large in magnitude because you are measuring an absolute value what do i mean by this if you remember the other colligative properties were delta tb the change in boiling point delta tf the change in freezing point p not minus p solution upon p not again lowering relative lowering of vapor pressure all these values are changes so they are going to be a very small value which can be difficult to measure whereas this is an absolute value where you measure the osmotic pressure directly since it is not increase in pressure or relative lowering of pressure no it's osmotic pressure it is a absolute value it is not the relative value so the values are large next is you are measuring it at room temperature since that means that means there are lesser amount of hassles so since you are measuring at room temperature it has an advantage this is also preferred for biomolecules if your solute is a biomolecule like protein or enzyme then in that case we prefer this to be used the reason being your biomolecules are affected by temperature if you use these two for a biomolecule at the boiling point maybe your biomolecule gets denatured or at the freezing point it becomes inactive so there could be other complications so for biomolecules which are temperature sensitive we prefer to use osmotic pressure because osmotic pressure is measured at room temperature also if you remember osmotic pressure the formula for osmotic pressure was like this pi is equal to w2 m2 volume of solution rt now in case you are to find it for polymers we prefer osmotic pressure also for polymers because polymers have a large molecular mass since their molecular mass is large if this value is large it is understandable that osmotic pressure value is going to be very small and since it is an absolute value even if you are using it for polymers which have a very large molecular mass this value would be considerable and can be easily measured so for polymers which have got a large molecular mass the expected value of pi is low but we cannot use these for polymers because these values are already very low and because of the large molecular mass of polymers these values if used would be all the more less and it would be difficult to measure them so the conclusion is osmotic pressure is a preferred colligative property due to the reasons of its magnitude being large because you are measuring an absolute value it is measured at room temperature that is to our advantage we can therefore use it for biomolecules which are temperature sensitive also if your solute is a polymer this is again an advised property because in this case the colligative property decreases while in case of osmotic pressure the decrease still is not enough for it to be discouraged for the use of osmotic pressure with this i conclude the class of colligative properties of osmotic pressure i hope i have cleared your doubts and the concept of the osmotic pressure is better understood now all the best students do well do very well in life stay in touch like if you have liked the teaching thanks a ton